Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is a bit different because we're going to be ranking all of the Sims 4 DLC. Um, the reason for this is, um, I don't know, just because... Just for people that are like new to the Sims 4 or only just um, wanting to start buying DLC, you know what to buy first, you know? Not confused and stuff, because honestly, the packs add up to like, be like a thousand dollars, so I think... It's a good idea to know which one to buy first and you know, continue down the list. Um, by the way, I will be splitting this video topic in three parts. The first part is what packs to buy if you like to build. The second part is what packs to buy if you like gameplay. And the third part is what packs to buy if you like me. This, obviously from the title and the thumbnail, is the first part. Okay, so we're gonna be doing this a bit different than other people. As you can see, I've already ranked the packs and I'll be going through and explaining my reasoning for all this. Also, the reason why the top tiered packs are all expansion packs is because they always have the most items. Also, another thing, um, when I have multiple packs in a tier, it means that you can buy any of those first because it really depends on your price. Okay, on to or okay, on to the first tier. For the first tier, there are three packs, and the packs are Seasons, Cats and Dogs, and City Living. For the first pack of the first tier, which is Seasons, the three pros are that first, it makes screenshots and scenery look so much better with the weather in the background. Second, it makes new windows, it has, okay, sorry. It has new windows and doors, which are a really nice style for suburban homes. And third, it adds decorations for any holiday. So you can make holiday themed, holiday -themed houses and stuff like that. For the second pack of the first tier, which is cats and dogs, the three pros are that there's stuff to use in every room of the house, like stuff to use in the bedroom, the living room, or like the kitchen or something like that. Um, the second one is that you can build veterinary clinics, so you can add some variety by instead of just building houses all the time, you can also build vet clinics, which I think is pretty cool. For the third pro is that there's a new world to build in, which is called Brindleton Bay. Um, for the third pack in the first tier, the four pros are that um, first, you can build an apartment, or you can build apartments as well, um, to add some variety. Um, there is a new world to build in, which is called San Mai Shuno. Uh, third, there, um, there are both dirty items and fancy items, so you can either build a TLC apartment or a really fancy penthouse. For the fourth pro, it is similar to cats and dogs in this way um, because it has stuff that you can use in every room of the house. That is all for the first tier. Um, on to the second tier. For the second tier there are three packs and the packs are Discovery University, Eco Lifestyle, and Get Together. For the first pack of the second tier, which is Discovery University, the three pros are that you can build dorms and commons. There is a new world to build in, which is called Brightchester, and there is stuff to use in every single room of the house. Like with the other packs, basically that just means that you can use it in like stuff. Um, there's stuff for like bedrooms, kitchens, bathrooms, all sorts of stuff. And the one con is that some of the items are like actually most of the items are university specific, which just means that. They can really only be used in a university situation or like a university build. Um, but yeah, that's all for Discovery University. Um, for the second pack of the second tier, which is Eco Lifestyle, the four pros um, are, and the first one is, um, that you can build community lots. Um, the second one is that there is a new world to build in, which is called uh, Evergreen Harbor. And the third is that there are lots of items, and the fourth, which is kind of an addition to the third, um, is that if you use the debug cheat, there are even more items. 
I feel like that was um, necessary to add because there are like a lot of items if you use the debug cheat. And for the con, um, or sorry, the one con is um, that the items color swatches uh, don't really match each other most of the time. And I feel like that can get really annoying in building because you know, you want everything to match and everything to look really nice. For the third pack of the second tier, which is Get Together, the three pros are, um, the first one is uh, that you can build ruins, bluffs, and chateaus. The second one is that there's a new world with tons of lots that is called Windenburg. By the way, I felt it was necessary to mention the tons of lots because there are like 30 lots instead of just like 16. Um, for the so many item, or sorry, <laughs> oopsies, I accidentally read it out loud. Um, for the third pro, or the third pro is that there are many, many items in the pack. Um, but the con is that the style of the items doesn't really fit with most suburban homes because it's kind of like Victorian in a way, and I feel like a lot more suburban homes are more modern and like traditional style, so. That is all for the second tier, on to the third tier. For the third tier, there are four packs, and the packs are Parenthood, Dine Out, Jungle Adventure, and, an island, and Island Living. The first pack of the third tier is Parenthood. Um, the only pro is that there are, and that's not the only pro, but it's the one I can think of. Um, but the one pro is that there are lots of items that are reusable again and again, which basically means that you can use at least one or two items from this pack in literally every single build and you won't get sick of it. Um, I can- I know that from experience because I use this pack in every single build. <laughs> um, yeah, but the con is that um, most of them are charm orientated slash like need a children's room to put the items in because it's the parenthood pack so if you don't uh, ever build like child child uh, children's rooms then i don't think this is the pack for you for the second pack of the third tier which is dine out the two pros are um the first one is that you can build restaurants and the second one is that um, there's tons of new stuff to use in kitchens, which I feel there is definitely a lack of, so that's always good. Um, but that also is one of the cons. Um, one of the first con is that it, a lot of the items are kitchen oriented, and you won't be able to use most of this outside of the kitchen, so if that's not important to you, this isn't the pack. Also, another con is that it is $20 from like 125 items. And like uh, with the other con, it's only gonna be kitchen stuff, so. But hey, I think it's still worth it. Um, for the third pack of the third tier, which is Jungle Adventure, um, the first pro is that there's a new world to build in, which is Salvador, uh, Salvadorada. Um, the second uh, pro is that you can build vacation lots, lots, which I feel like can be fun to add variety and challenge yourself. For the third pro, which is, um, or sorry, the third pro is that there are lots of plants for landscaping. So if you're ever using the same plants over and over again, then this will add some variety. Honestly, the amount of times I said variety is a lot. Um, for the fourth pro, which is um, that there's stuff to use in every room of the house. Um, and like other packs, it's just basically. There's stuff for the bedroom, kitchen, bathroom, every room. You can make one, like, you can make an entire house with just this pack and it'd be fine. Um, but, uh, there are two pros, or, sorry, two, two cons, and one of them is that the color swatches, swatches don't always match and are a bit bright, so, um, if you like monotone houses, that isn't gonna work well. Um, and second, the Second con is that the style of the items doesn't fit with most suburban houses because it is um, kind of like it just doesn't really fit. You know, it's not modern and traditional style, it's more of a cultural uh, Latin America style. So that doesn't really fit with most houses if you like to build traditional style houses. For the fourth pack of the third tier, 
Um, there are four, uh, wait, wait, which is island living, by the way. There are four pros. The first pro is that there's a new world to build in, which is called Sulani. And the second pro is that you can build beaches. The third pro, similar to Jungle Adventure, um, is that there are lots of plants for landscaping, for variety. <laughs> And the fourth pro is that there's stuff to use in every room of the house, and by the, by now, you already know what that means, so I'm not going to try to explain it. Um, the two cons are that the color swatches, swatches don't always match and are a bit bright, and the style of items uh, of the items doesn't fit with most suburban houses, because like I said, it is more of a Pacific Islander kind of like cultural uh, style, and I feel like that doesn't really fit with many traditional modern houses um so if you build that then that's not going to work out well but also like i said variety challenge yourself um but yeah that's it for the third tier on to the fourth tier for the fourth tier there is one pack and the reason for that is because it wasn't good enough for the third tier and wasn't bad enough for the fifth tier by the way the pack is spotted um, for the only pack um, in the fourth tier, which is Spa Day, like I said a few seconds before, um, the three pros are that you can build spas. Um, or yeah, sorry. First, there you can build spas. Second um, pro is that there are tons of new stuff to use in kitchens and bathrooms. So if you're running out of stuff, and you're using the same stuff over and over again, then I would suggest Spa Day. Um, for the third pro is that most of the items have monotone swatches or monotone color swatches that match almost every, almost anything. Um, so that's always that's always nice. Um, but yeah, the one con is that a lot of the items are spa specific. So I guess um, you know you can have a home spa. You know I think that might be a good idea. Um, but yeah, that's really that's really it for the fourth tier. On to the fifth tier. For the fifth tier, there are four packs, and the packs are Snowy Escape, Tiny Living, Laundry Day, and Fitness Stuff. For the first pack of the fifth tier, which is Snowy Escape, the three pros are the first pro is that there's a new world to build in, which is called Mount Karambi. The second pro is that there are lots of new windows and doors, so you can, can stop using the same ones over and over again. And the third pro is that there's stuff to use in every room of the house. But the one con is that a lot of the items are mountain climbing specific slash mountain, mountainous, I guess, mountain specific items. Um, for the second pack of the fifth tier, which is tiny living. The two pros are, firstly, that you can build tiny homes and um, that a lot of the items are reusable again and again, which means that you can use them in every single build and not get sick of them. So that's always fun. Um, the one con is that it is only $10 or it is like $10 for only like 34 items. But like I said before, You'll use them in every pack. You'll probably get your money's worth, but still, it's just a warning. It is ten dollars, you know. Um, for the third pack of the fifth tier, which is Laundry Day, the two pros are firstly that um, you can add an entire room, or you, you know, like if you buy it, there is an entire new room to add in the house, which is a laundry room. You know, you can put some laundry machines and some cute cleaning stuff in there which can be nice um, if you're getting bored of the normal layout. Um, for the second pro, um, the, or sorry, the second pro is that there are lots of items for you living in the dining room. There's some really nice new chairs and there's a new table. It's like a circular table so you can put chairs all around if you want to center it in the middle of a room, I guess. Yeah, um, that's really it for tiny room. Or sorry, laundry day. Okay, um, I forgot to uh, say the con for Laundry Day stuff, but um, like you probably expected, it's um, that it's ten dollars for only forty-eight items. Um, onto the other um, stuff pack. <laughs> um, for the fourth 
pack of the fifth tier, which is fitness stuff, the three pros are firstly that there are lots of items for bathrooms, gyms, and decor. Personally, I use a lot of fitness stuff in my like my Sims um, uh, my Sims houses bathrooms. So I'm just saying you use them a lot. Or you'll probably end up losing, you, uh, using them a lot. Um, for the second pro, which is that a lot of all the items have modern, clean designs that fit with almost everything. Um, that also connects to the third pro, which is that all almost all of the color swatches, color swatches are monotone that also match everything, so it's great. Um, but the one con is that it is ten dollars for only seventeen items. Like I said before, you will use them a lot. Um, that is all for the fifth tier. Um, on to the sixth tier. For the sixth tier, with there are three packs, and the packs are cool kitchen, perfect patio, and kids room. For the yeah, the first um, pack of the of yeah of the sixth tier is cool kitchen. And the four pros are that firstly there are new kitchen counters, secondly there are new uh, there's a new fridge and stove, thirdly there is um, a lots lots and lots of kitchen decor, and the fourth pro is that there are lots of items that are reusable again and again. I use in this like this pack every single build for all my kitchens. Um, but the one con is that it is $10 for only 20 items. Um, the second pack of the sixth tier, which is Perfect Patio, the uh, two pros are that firstly it makes backyards and patios way less boring, and the second pro is that it looks really nice and clean, and just generally like the items look really good. I like them a lot. Um, uh, the con, but the con is that it is ten dollars for only thirty-two items. Um, and the third pack of the sixth tier is um, kids' room. So yeah, um, the pro is that it adds more items for kids' rooms. Uh, the two cons are that the color swatches swatches don't always match and are a bit bright. So just watch out for that. And it's also ten dollars for only forty-one items. Um, that's all for the um, sixth tier. On to uh, the don't buy this tier. Okay, just to sum up all the packs in the don't buy this tier, um, because there are way too many packs in this tier, and it would take forever to explain all the, the reasoning for them all. Yeah, but basically they add too little to the game for how expensive they are, or in smaller terms, they're not worth how much you spend on them, because you rarely ever use them. Um, yeah, but that's all folks. Um, I hoped this helped solve all of your packs buying, pack buying problems. Also, I will be coming out with the second part of this video topic which is what packs to buy in the Sims 4 Be Like gameplay in two weeks on January 24th at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you're wondering why that's um, for like so like long, you know, like that's that's in like two weeks, you know? Um, it's because I do post speed builds as well on like Saturday, or sorry, Sundays. So I'm gonna be doing these videos um, every other week, you know, switching out with speed builds, um, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching and peace.